Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder, Blue Book MKE. And in this video training, what I want to go through, uh, I know you might be saying, well, Steve, I've already seen, seen, seen this, but I'm going to actually uh, dive deep on the mindset about this because working with clients, uh, answering uh, questions uh, from, from, uh, my email list, uh, I, I get this feeling that this is what you might be going through, uh, and I want to help you. And this is stuff that I've, I've went through before, and I still kind of go through it, but I've figured out ways to kind of manage myself through it. And uh, so let me tell you, let me tell you how how this works. And, and this, this is going to help you because uh, a lot of people procrastinate and they procrastinate for different reasons. But I think the number one reason why people procrastinate is because they don't think that what they're going to do is going to work. They they might be looking at the whole picture and they're thinking that this is going to just be too hard for me to do. But you want to be successful. You want to have that business where you're on your own. You can work from home or you have an office or you have employees. You want that. You want a better life. You want to make more money, but you just can't seem to get things going. Like you're, It seems like you're trapped. Like one side of your brain is like, hey, I, I know I can do it. I can be successful. And then when you start to make one little step to try to be successful, even if you, you know, either you get afraid because you're looking at too much of the picture to where you're like, it's just too much for me to do, or you try something and it doesn't work and you get discouraged because you're like, well, it's not going to either work for me or uh, they're doing something that I don't know, or it's just not for me. You know, maybe I just have to, you know, stay with what I'm doing that I'm not, gonna, you know, there's something special about them. And I'm going to tell you, there's nothing extra special about anybody we, we all do things put on our pants and you know wake up go to sleep eat all that stuff is the same might be just different variations the only thing the difference that i've seen with people and i even include this with myself on each of the different levels that i'm able to attain financially personally even with my health um in in fitness is that it's the mindset. The more you can direct your thinking that you can do something and then allow yourself to become that person because what you're probably experiencing right now, if you don't have a business, you're probably experiencing uh, where you just don't believe that you can do it. And the reason why you don't believe that you can do it is because you know deep down inside that who you are right now is not that person. So really a shortcut to it and what I've been able to do for myself is to, to say, I'm gonna become that new person. And to become that new person, that means I'm gonna to have to do things that I, I, I'm not used to doing. So how am I gonna get myself to do things that I'm not used to doing, especially when I'm not gonna be feeling comfortable doing those things? So how am I gonna to get to that point? And with business like the number one reason why businesses go out of business because they don't have enough customers and if you don't have a way of attracting people to to uh, talk to to potentially become your customer then you're gonna, not going to be in business this is stuff that i go through all the time and that's why i'm so big on lead generation why i'm so big on figuring out ways to reach out to potential customers because if you don't have that structure in place uh, you're you're going to be you know you know down from the beginning like it ain't, it's not, you're not even going to be able to get off the ground and so what I've done with my program my three step program is that I show people how to generate leads and I also show people how to generate phone calls so if you're not the type of business that is going to be calling people back I've I understand that and I work with businesses that are that way. I work with people who are not salespeople. They need to have someone call them and then they feel comfortable about reaching back out to them or just talking to them on the phone right at that time. And so 
my program solves that. But I, from listening to people from uh, in phone conversations, from reading the emails, this is what everybody is afraid of. Because you understand my program. This here is like money in the bank. What I have outlined right here is money in the bank. But you're looking at this and you're like, Steve, this is too much for me. Or this looks too simple. It's either it's too much or it's too simple. But then when you go to step one, all of a sudden it becomes too hard. And I, this is the experience I have with working with my with my consulting clients are like, okay, uh, you're taking me to step one and then you're taking me to step two and you're taking me to step three. Each of those steps, when they start to get inside of each of those steps, they start to feel overwhelmed. They start to feel like it's just not gonna work. It's too much to do. And then and with my do-it-yourself uh, uh, membership, clients like you you're looking at for this program they start to think okay it's just too much uh you know i see what you're outlining i see that it can work i see that it works for you i see that it's worked for your your clients that have done it but i cannot see it working for me and i believe that what i'm about to break down for you will help you understand how it's going to work for you and that this is how i've designed my program uh to to make it be able to work for people because i've been in the position that you're in so the first thing that we need to do is we need to pick a platform that we're going to run our ads on now depending on what type of business you have no matter what your business can uh, generate leads or phone calls from advertising platforms online it just it depends on what type of business you have where i suggest which platform that you run on and i go through that in my program so but let just let's just keep it simple let's just talk about Facebook and that you have a business where you want to generate leads that's where you want people to to number one opt-in on a form and then from that opt-in you want them to go to your sales page and then if you are confident enough you can also call them to uh, uh, to present you know to, to pitch your product or service or to have them come in or whatever you want to do and then you would also have an email follow-up that will also do work for you so that's what this whole that, that's the big picture but let's break it down to the small picture and this is something that i go through too when i'm doing campaigns it's like okay i need to put together an ad and i know the goal is to generate leads for for, for my business i'm actually going through this right now for my publishing company it's like what is the way with all of the skepticism that is out there where people can do ads themselves, people can uh, go to a platform and run ads and do all of this stuff themselves. It's kind of taken my, you know, uh, one of the niches that I had with my publishing uh, company, it's taken that revenue way down because people, rather than coming to us to do their uh, advertising and print, they're going to different platforms or you know they're not believing as much as they used to believe in print even though it is kind of coming back around a little bit but it's it's not going to be at the level that it used to be so what I have to do is I have to kind of transition that company and say okay well what can I do to bring business owners to look at what we have to offer and then we'll pre present them with our products and services so with that understanding the first thing that would come to my mind and it came to my mind is that okay understanding with all of the the roadblocks that are ahead of us with this how would we present our uh, opportunity to for them to look at what we had to offer and what i would do is all of these different doubts would come to my head and what i did and this is what i teach you to do is to just take my worksheet and and forget about the doubts and just to write down different ideas for ads. Now, depending on your budget, uh, you can, you know, test one at a time and see what happens. Two at a time. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm testing. Uh, I'm gonna test ten at a time, but really, when it comes down to it, I'm really gonna test the two best at a at a time and. 
and really when it comes down to me testing, I know how to generate these leads. So it's it's mostly uh, based on what my sales team is able to do with those leads because with this business that I have with the, with my publishing business, uh, they would actually go door to door and I'm kind of transitioning them to start doing more of using the phone. And believe it or not, this has been a difficult transition for them because they're mostly used to dealing with people face to face. And uh, even though they know how to sell, they know how to present, I think that what they're going through is they're going through uh, that where they can't see the person and they can't make adjustments based on the actions or the facial expressions. They have to actually deal with them on the phone. And so what I'm doing is I, I'm putting together different ads and I'm uh, running those ads and then I'm generating leads and I'm seeing how my team can follow up and how we can end up, uh, you know, what is going to be the process of selling those customers. So what the first thing that I want you to just think about right now, and I, I teach you how to do this, is that you're just going to use my three-step process. Like I'm going to show you a three-step process to making ads that work. I'm going to show you examples of ads that I've ran that work, and I'm going to give you a process and the, the worksheets, everything, so you can just get used to doing that. If you can, you know, r raise your hand right now. If you think that if Steve was right there in the room with you and I just said, do this three-step process to making an ad, and then can, can you do that? We're not even talking about putting it on the platform yet. I'm just talking about taking that baby step so you know, okay, I have a plan outline. I've utilized what Steve tells me what to, to uh, uh, how to to craft an ad. I've looked at examples of ads that he had that worked. Uh, do I feel comfortable moving forward from j just step number one, which is I've created my ad? That's all I'm asking you right now. Now, step number two would be taking that ad information and I'm going to show you how to insert that information step by step into your Facebook ad account, like how to make that ad. I'm going to show you how to put the headline in there a certain way. I'm going to show you how to utilize bullet points and emojis and all of that stuff. I'm going to show you what to put for the learn more button, why you don't want to, why you want to put learn more rather than like order now, like the reason, the psychology behind that. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on Facebook, like step by step. If you have a, a, a laptop and then you have your desktop, you can watch my video and do it on the other computer step by step. You can pause, do what I tell you to do, hit play again, do what I tell you to do. It'll be that easy if you uh, uh, are good at following, you know, if you can just follow those directions. And I show you that on all of the platforms, but for, for this uh, example, we're just talking about Facebook. Now, you might be saying, okay, Steve, I can make the ad. Now, what about the opt in form? Like I've, I've tried to get leads and uh, it didn't work. I had them go to my landing page and it didn't work. I'm going to show you, and this is something that a lot of companies and individuals just for some reason never took advantage of with the platforms. Every platform has it. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Google has this capability for you to be able to capture leads without having the individual leave the website that's very important because a lot of people are on there because they want to scroll and see what friends family are doing or to just watch videos and all that stuff but they're interested in what you had to offer and they could just fill out that form and uh and then that form can go to you and then you can follow back up with them but it still has the opportunity for them to go to your website but now let's just stick with that with step number two with making a form, do you believe that you can follow my step by step process? I'm going to show you uh, a quick five easy steps to creating an opt in form right there on uh, Facebook. And now I know you might be saying, well, I could just go there and just learn to do it myself. And 
Facebook teaches you how to do this. They don't really teach you how to do it. They just make it available to you. I'm going to give you the short way to do it, the fast track way so you can start making money. You know, you, you've been waiting too long and you need to just use utilize my fast track process. So I'm going to show you a step, five step process so you can get this done and over with and you don't have to sit there. there if you can try to schedule something with Facebook. They're not even going to call you. They're not going to do anything with you because you have to spend a certain amount of money to even be on their radar. So I'm just telling you, I'm going to give you the five step pr process. You can, again, you can have your uh, laptop on and then you can be watching from your, I mean, open up from, on your desktop. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it to be compliant. And this will be a guaranteed way that you can generate leads. Now, step number three is you want to send those leads to your autoresponder. I'm going to show you, number one, what is an autoresponder, just in case you don't know what it is. And then number two, how to set up your email list so you can follow up with your leads. Most people will not buy your product or service when they see it the first time, but they will buy that product or service eventually. And you want to be top of mind in that person's mind when they decide to order. I was just having a conversation with, with my sales reps for my credit repair uh, company and we had found that most people who, who became a lead that the majority of the people who ordered were in our uh, had signed up to be a lead more than 30 days ago and but I'm going to show you exactly how to set up so you know breaking down that little picture how to set up an autoresponder it's it, it can be very simple if you know what to do the autoresponder services they are not going to do this work for you. They expect you to do it. So I'm going to show you where you can just look on your laptop, have the autoresponder open. I'm even going to recommend one that I use. And I'm going to show you step by step how to make your first uh, 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 list, email uh, list, show you exactly what to say, how you can talk to people in those emails, and how to schedule email blasts, how to schedule the follow ups. I even tell you how many days to put in between it. This is the fast track way to do it. I know you may be thinking I can just go and do that myself, but I'm showing you exactly how to do it. So you don't, you know, if you go and try to do it the other way, it's going to take you too much time. Now, the other thing is I'm going to show you how to connect that form to your autoresponder. This is stuff they're going to just say, well, you can watch the tutorials and do it. But how, how about having someone who does it all the time show you how to do it i'm you know you're going to be able to talk to me if you need to talk to me and utilize uh, my customer service team to actually help you do it if you get stuck and that's like a huge value now let's go to the final step uh you know because we we have our ad we have our opt-in forms you can call when you get those leads you can and then you can put them into your autoresponder for the follow-up so we can keep your business type of mind. Now that next step is your sales page. Most people put together websites. They don't have a sales page. They just have a up like a brochure. It, when you when I'm talking about a sales page is where it's like you're speaking to that individual. They go to your website and they they're going to be scrolling down your website. And they might say, "Am I sp speaking? I'm in a conversation with this individual right now." They know exactly what I'm going through. They know exactly what I need. They've answered the questions and everything. That's what I'm talking about with a sales page. I'm going to show you step by step how to put together a sales page that speaks to people. I've done this with different industries. It doesn't matter what you have, what product or service. You need to have a sales page. Even if you're selling pizza, you want to tell people why your pizza is different than other people's pizza. And, and because that's important. If your business is supposed to beat your competition, we don't want to just say we're going to beat our competition by having a lower price. We want to say we want to beat our competition by having the highest price because we had the best pizza or we had the best product or service. That's, that's the way that we want to do it. So, if you think that you can do these three steps, and let's not jump and fast forward into other things that you're going to be able to do. This is like laying the foundation. You can build, uh, you know, a, a big house, a big skyscraper off of this 
foundation. This will get you making sales. This will get your business moving forward. All right, so I invite you to, uh, and I'm, let me go to that page real quick. Okay, here, here we go, go on our page. This is just from one of my businesses by uh, uh, that I've made over 2.2 million. It's, it's uh, more than that now, but this is the amount of money that I've made and I've done. This one was strictly from my Facebook advertising. I've expanded this business to advertise on TikTok and doing YouTube. But uh, I know what to, I know how to get your business going, and I know that you want to do this stuff yourself. So that's why I put together this uh, three-step program to help businesses that want that want to do all of this stuff themselves, but they want to have a fast-track way to doing it. Uh, you know, my experience speaks for itself. I've been in uh, the marketing advertising business for 32 years, going on. 33 years worked with small, medium, mom and pop businesses. Uh, I helped them get generate leads, get calls. Uh, I've, I've, I've done it. And, and so I'm the mentor that you've been looking for. Someone that is really doing this stuff, not as someone that's just selling programs. You know, um, th that's what you see out there. You see people selling programs. And then when people try to utilize the programs, they don't work for them. Uh, you know, here's proof that I generate leads for, this is just for one of my businesses, over 108,000 leads. Uh, here again, my authorized.net account for that uh, business shows here over 1.2 million in revenue. There's one of my ads that I've ran. Uh, these are all the different types of businesses that I've worked with. You know, we've worked with a lot of these owners face to face, not to say that we can't work with someone that's not in our area. Here's a video here where I show different ads that I've ran. Um, if you're into needing leads uh, to make appointments for your sales reps, I'll, I have training on, on that stuff there. But that's just further proof that I know how to generate leads and get people to actually want what we have to offer. Uh, it, you might have tried lead generation before and it didn't work. I'm just here to tell you it was because whoever trained you or you just didn't know what you were doing. And when I talk about changing and becoming that different person, that's it. If you, if the if the ultimate goal is for you to be able to have your own business, be able to sustain yourself, you're gonna have to be a different person. That different person is gonna have to learn how to generate leads. That, that that's the difference. Uh, you might be thinking that generating leads online or calls online that they suck, they don't translate into sales. I'm here to tell you that that's not true. You're online. Do you think that? If you were to fill out a form that you you suck, I mean, that's basically what you're saying, that individuals who uh, see an ad take the time to fill out a form that um, they, uh, you know, that they they don't translate into sales. That's not true. There are people just like you. It, they want to buy products and services, but everybody's temperature is different. That's why you want to have an autoresponder service, because at some point that individual is going to want to sign up. And if you're not top of mind to them, they're going to end up uh, signing up with someone else and your advertising dollars would have been wasted. I'll also show you some different opportunities that you can utilize for your leads. Uh, it won't, won't work for my business. Don't, don't, don't even have that in your mind. Uh, it's just that depending on your business, there's a certain platforms that you will need to work with. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the only difference. All, all advertising online will work. It's just that depending on your type of business, uh, it's going to depend on what type of ads that you're going to need to run. And I go through that in my program. Uh, it's too hard. I've tried it before. I got stuck. I just went through that with you where I'm going to show you. I'm going to take out all of the guesswork. This will work for you if you uh, are willing to take those little bitty steps. Uh, you're looking at the big picture, but we're going to break that down and make it easier for you to absorb. Uh, you don't understand the platforms. I'm going to show you how to understand the platforms. I'm going to show you how I run ads on all of them. It's going to make it very easy for you. Uh, how will I make your money back from this course? That's very important. I'm going to teach you. That's why, <laughs> that's why I make the course with the three steps because I want to hurry up with these three easy steps to get you talking to people or to get people
looking at what you had to offer so you can make your money back. Does the course offer support? Yes, we do offer support. Uh, you know, something that's different than other companies, we offer phone and email uh, support uh, for this course here. I have reps and, uh, you know, we're, we're able to do that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you tried other courses, will it work? Yes, it will work. Uh, you do have to put in, uh, you know, the work. I do try to make it as easy as possible for you to follow. Uh, but, you know, just like anything, you are going to have to put in the work. It will work for you. And here's some other questions and answers. Uh, with this program here, you're going to get everything plus the bonuses, uh, how to make money with YouTube, how to make money from your leads, where I, I just talked about that, show you how to monetize people who don't even buy your product or service. Uh, I'm going to tell you what to do with your leads to make more money, uh, show you some stuff that you can do with utilizing text, show you some information that I believe helps with your sales pages, uh, setting up the autoresponder, and then my team is here to help you if you have any questions, answers. Cost of this program here is uh, $9.97, uh, and it's for, uh, it, or you can do the payment program. If you happen to be one of my credit repair uh, 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 vendors or uh, leads that program is different because I do have a specialized program for uh, credit repair business owners and that one is a little bit higher I think it's uh, almost fifteen hundred dollars but that's because I go into some details about specifically with the credit repair industry itself all right uh, link is below go ahead and sign up if you have any questions or comments please email me because the most important thing is that you ask those questions so you can get to utilizing information and get your business moving.